Greetings there, people of the world. Ionic Gecko here, yet again with another Ionics vlog. Yes, we're back. I told you we're gonna we're pushing this sucker, as I said, up the hill. Uh, <laughs> and today is exciting because I finally, finally have all the pieces of the puzzle that I need for my new setup that I'm, uh, I was, I've been planning uh, now ever since basically my graphics card died. I was like, yeah, I guess I need to set, actually before that, before that, uh, because there's another piece of uh, hardware here that is dying. I will demonstrate it momentarily. I'm gonna go over a bunch of my, just my old current setup and how shitty and messy my room is. Uh, and then there will be a time lapse because of course there's gonna be a time lapse. I love time lapses. Uh, we're gonna clean my room, move a bunch of furniture around, and just a uh, bunch of new fun gadgets setting up. It's, it's, I'm excited, man. It's, it's fun. It's good to have this energy. I've been waiting for this. There's one package that I had um, delivered as well, but that turned out to be a disappointment because it arrived uh, broken. So um, I'm hoping to get that fixed or replaced or something or a discount. Or we'll, we'll see. It's still ongoing, but doesn't relate to this in any way. Um, it's just something personal. And I, yeah. Anyway, I guess uh, let's get to it. I have my notes, but what did I have in my notes? Really nothing. I was like, hey, welcome to this vlog. Uh, current setup. At, yeah, well, yeah, that's I guess I should say this current setup that I have has been like this ever since uh, me and Marski moved in and I have, hasn't changed since. And I mean, it's okay uh, for, for when we moved in. I thought, figured, oh, this is this is probably the best. But now, just thinking about it, there's 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 a better way. I feel. We'll see. I mean, we're gonna do this, and hopefully, it looks as good as I am Im imagining it in my mind. But uh, yeah, uh, honestly, I'm gonna turn this over to uh, Phone uh, Gecko and see um, see what he's up to basically i'm just gonna sh it's easier to show i can't move this camera because it's on the tripod and yeah prime lens all that but uh, i will return after we we uh get everything set up and i'm gonna it's gonna look very different <laughs> excuse me i'm uh, sorry about that sneezing all day i don't know i'm not getting sick i don't feel sick but hey enough of this uh phone gecko take it away Let's go over my setup. This is my room. I've shown this in a house tour. I don't have anything that I shouldn't show around. No, no, all right, okay. Uh, the lights are now currently set up for uh, vl vlogging purposes. Uh, this is where I sit, obviously. Now here's my desk. It's a mess because I'm gonna be cleaning everything. Uh, a little bit of self-promotion there. It's fine if you wanna see that video, it's on my channel. Um, but this is the microphone I use, uh, Audio-Technica. Probably not going to be using it now. I mean, I could I could insert it now. But I'll, I'll probably use the phone mic, uh, phone audio for this because I'm microphone closer to my mouth. Uh, yeah, it's a cardioid uh, condenser microphone, the AT2035, I believe. There is a USB version, but this is a XLR cable connecting to my Focusrite audio interface, and honestly. This I have been underutilizing for all this time. I really, uh, it's, I feel stupid and ashamed. But these days, I finally I hooked up my headphones to it, to my uh, just to. So now it's acting as a sound card, and um, it's what I, really I should have been doing from the get go. I'm not going to get into all the details, but I'm just happy because now it's. Uh, Using for what I intended, I should probably switch this into there. I also have another microphone that I can use and hook up to the other port here, which is nice. And that then back here, like I said, th these are the monitor direct, like the monitor cables and monitor. It's weird. Monitor uh, in the end, it's it's just another word for speakers, basically. I, I mean, I assume I've, the terminology is interesting, but I have I just have basic PC speakers. I'm thinking of upgrading those those are pretty cheap but uh, I bought this cable uh, that has uh, now left and right and it hooks up into my subwoofer there and uh, so I can now get audio into those and audio into my headphones at the same time something I've been missing for a while um, little gecko on the table the lizard it's my gecko it's my it's my animal I'm a total I'm in my spirit animal obviously I am I am a gecko after all um, but then, yes, this, so two monitors here, and then 
third TV basically, <laughs> much bigger. These are 27 inches. And this sucker, this is whoo, old. Uh, over 10 years old, I believe. Yeah, over. it's about 11 years old. It's, it's, I'm surprised it's lasted this long. LG make, make pretty good stuff, but I mean, check this. If I uh, go to YouTube, my page, and then I just go to the front page, just the main page. Uh, usually, what tends to happen because there's so many colors on the screen, you can see that there's a line. That's just the monitor. It's it's dying. It's slowly dying. It's been doing this for probably the past year, and I bet you if I scroll enough, because there's so many colors, it has a tough time just uh, I guess showing everything. There's like the, 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 yep, and it and now it died. Yeah, you see, it went black. That's nothing that I did except for just showing too many different colors on screen. And this, this is uh, one reason why I will be. I mean, does that on several websites? It's the most not noticeable on the YouTube uh, homepage because there's all these different thumbnails with a bunch of different colors, and this it just freaks it out. But it's being replaced, and uh, that one, that was my plan already this year to replace it with something very cool, very, very exciting. Um, my first, my first ever gaming monitor. That's been, the, both of these are 60 hertz, I believe, pretty sure. But finally, I can utilize, well, first off, as you know, uh, my graphics card, let me, I'm jumping ahead. My graphics card, the, my GTX 1070, this thing died. This thing's fried, it's toast. No longer with us, rest in peace, RIP. Thank you um, for your service. But now, finally, it has arrived. <sighs> My new beast, the RTX 2080 Super for the Win Hybrid. So this is a water, all-in-one water-cooled, all-in-one AIO, AIO, AIO um, graphics card, uh, and it's the RTX 2080. So top of the line at the moment, obviously, not for, but and no super. So they, um, you know. They're better, more powerful uh, card. It's not, it's not a TI, and I get that. But you get this is already diminishing returns for how much this costs. And this was not cheap. I've just further put myself into debt. Well, I, not further. Well, yes, further. But uh, I've been paying off my debts and all all that stuff, which is positive. But this I kind of hindered myself. I, I'll have this paid off uh, within the year, obviously. But I have a bunch of other debts. Uh, I'm not going to get into it. Not cheap. My point is not cheap. You don't need a super 2080 super, but uh, future proofing. I want this to last at least the next three, four years, uh, and I should be able to run a bunch of games on high. And then water cooled mainly just to keep temps low. Uh, it it extends the life of you know hardware heat. That's what kills it. Um, like most of my hard drives, actually, I don't think I've had a single drive failure ever since I started using like at my own PC and then even so like older hard drives I have 10 year old drives that still work but it's because you shut down your computer you uh, don't you know that's mainly the thing because the hard drive is spinning constantly it's just, you know and uh, when you don't have power running through it it tends to save save some of that uh, life lifespan extends the lifespan anyway that will be powering oh man I can't wait to but installation into that is going to be a messy or not messy well it is a mess now don't need that this is for cables not the point this this is what i've been yes i think i even might have te no i teased this on my on my facebook on just my personal page but here this is what we have this is what we're working with the samsung 240 hertz rapid curve ga curve gaming monitor so it's a curved monitor and uh, and and it's up to two. It's 240 hertz. So if I if I was getting 240 frames in a game, I would see. Well, I mean, would I would I wouldn't see every single frame, but I would get every single frame. Uh, obviously, if I'm only getting 100 frames, but I'll get 100 frames. If I currently got 100 frames here, I would only see 60 of those 100 frames. So you know, I cannot wait. This is gonna be. I bet it's gonna change my life. I know because it's curved. I wanted a curved gaming monitor. This G-Sync ready. Uh, so you know, uh, less uh, la latency between the graphics card. All that. It's it's just gonna. It's gonna be a whole new world, honestly. And I'm probably not gonna be want to get anything other than 
gaming monitors from now on. But that's all right. Doing for this ought to serve me well. Very excited. 27 inches as well. I think 27 inches is the sweet spot for me. I don't need much bigger. I need much more. Oh, my cyberpunk poster. That will be going up as well. Um, other than that, really, it's just a mess. Got my boards there, and then I step back a bit. So these two, I have two discs. One there, and then this is basically just a table. But what I want to do is they're against this wall. And then there's a shelf here, just a crappy shelf, and it's like shoved in there. So trying to get things from out back here or like all the way down there is a pain in the butt. So what I will be doing is this desk, my main desk, I will be turning around, putting it against this wall. These are windows, by the way. Uh, I never, rarely look through them. Maybe there's a small one there I might check out. But move that desk here, and then this table slots in to where that currently is. And then finally I can rotate this against the wall to where I can access everything in it. I'll be putting a bunch of stuff into this shelf. I have a bunch of movies and other things. Um, but yeah, that's the current um, setup. And it's, it's pretty janky. I mean, if, a lot of this stuff is just, you know, what it is. But I'm, I'm excited. I cannot wait for this new... Just, ah, it's gonna be good. I mean, this is gonna take me hours to actually uh, clean this, set it, move everything, because I gotta take stuff out and move it and put stuff in, wipe everything. It's it's gonna be a project on its own. But I'll time lapse some of it, not all of it, because it's probably gonna be, it's gonna be like a four or five hours of work just because I gotta open up my computer, reinstall the card, and cable management is pretty atrocious currently in there. So I'll do that too. So. Uh, yeah, I got nothing else. Thanks for joining me on this journey. Uh, I'll let you, I'll leave you off with a time lapse. And uh, uh, this is Anik Echo. I'm signing off. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace out. Wow. Oh.